All right, here goes another update here. So I was getting ready to just about uh, take out the uh, the engine itself. So when it comes to the torque converter bolts, on the driver's side, just below the motor mount, as an access panel very in the back, a little plastic cover, pop those off with a pair of needle nose pliers. Then you're gonna need at least two 24 inch extensions like those. Hook those up, a uh, big breaker bar, and you'll put a 18 millimeter socket on that with a breaker bar and slowly rotate the uh, flywheel so you can see the nuts back in there. And then you go ahead and start breaking those off and taking those loose. Once that's done, then you can go and take the bell housing bolts off. Uh, I have a problem right now. I have one in the upper that's stripped. So I'm actually in the process of removing the high pressure oil pump cover, which is this portion here, so I can try and hopefully maybe get a pair of channel locks on there, or some, some vice grips or something to try and break that bolt free just to, to get it off. Like I said, it's stripped, and they are on there really, really tight. I mean, they're like, they're torqued extremely tight. Um, and there's another one back on this. So it's the two upper bolts. Um, this one is stripped on the driver's side. The passenger side is just difficult to access, so maybe I can get it from this end over here. But I'm going to go ahead and remove the high-pressure oil pump cover. So there are a bunch of little 8-millimeter bolts. It's still taking a really small 8 millimeter wrench. I can slip this underneath that, that up pipe for the EGR. And just try and crack that one off. I think these torque down at, I think, 18 PSI or foot pounds. Um, there we go. It's loosening up. For those of you who don't know, that's the IPR valve, and this is your ICP sensor in the back. Uh, if you want to uh, change those out, or if you're ever in the process of changing them, the best way to access that is from the driver's side underneath the vehicle. Um, so that's the, the IPR, ICP. Uh, there's a little shroud that goes in the back of that. Um, you'll just have to go ahead and get that off. And then you can access it with a little ten or it's a yeah ten millimeter bolt. There's three of them on that hold that shroud together. Two up high and one down low on the passenger side. That's a little eight millimeter bolts. So don't lose those. Got bolts and bolts everywhere. You got all kinds of shit in here. Good thing I gotta clean the engine out thoroughly. All right, so with that being like that, I just need to pry this biatch up. Oh, I think good. There we go. EGR valve, lock off. See the gasket there. Sometimes they say your high pressure oil pump's bad, needs to be replaced. Um, if you're gonna do it, you're gonna want to go and inspect it. On mine, they told me it was bad. They wanted to charge me 800 bucks for the part um, for a total bill of somewhere around uh, I think 1,800 dollars. And when I got it apart, all it was was that little yellow O-ring was completely shredded. It was like blown off. Half was in there, half of it was gone. So I went ahead and I actually just replaced the whole pump. But if you're short on cash, you can just go ahead and have it tested and they'll see if it's all right or not. Um, and that was the issue. I forget the codes I got. I think it was injection control pressure was too low. Um, that and it was also, uh, it would start when it was cold. As soon as it warmed up, it would die. So I knew I was losing oil pressure. And that's where that came from. All right, this pump cover's off. I'll go ahead and clean this up, paint it, get ready for reassembly. So 
like I said, back up in here, that's your high pressure oil pump. On the, I think it's the 06, 05, they have an STC fitting that goes back there that needs to be updated and replaced. Mine's actually all right. It uh, doesn't have that doesn't have that fitting, the one that gives people a lot of problems. Um, all right. So let me try and get those back bolts off.